Hey guys, it's Homie G Dog four five six here, and I know this might be a little weird of a view to start off a video, but this is actually inside of my computer. It's on its side right now, as you can see here. And hopefully you're watching this video because you need some help putting in a new video card or taking out an old one to put in a new one. Um, uh, right here I take have taken out. It's a uh, PCI. Um. TV tuner, so you can plug your TV into there and watch it on your computer. I've taken that out just so you guys can see that 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 is the video card right there. And I took this card, this little card here, right there, the slot out of that little black spot right in there, right there, because it was a little bit in the way. All right, so as you can see, I took the screws out, which is what you're going to have to do for most com computers these days to take the screws out of those slots. There's a screw for every slot there, and etc. like that. Um, most cars nowadays will actually have, let me find it, one of these connectors. This is a, um, it's a six pin power connector for the new video cards. This is actually a very old card. Um, that's the power connector it has right now. It's going actually straight into the motherboard, which is something I've never seen before. But I, it came with my computer, so uh, I just give you a quick overview of what's in my computer right now. There's one fan that's connected to the back there. There's the CPU, CPU fan. The CPU is under there, under the cooling system there. That's the new power. Um, the PCU that I put in, the power supply unit. Uh, it's a 500 watt. I replaced it because I had a 350 watt and that just wasn't good enough I didn't think so I replaced it for a 500 it's a cooler master 500 watt uh, this right here is an expansion bay if we just open this up you can put stuff in there an extra hard drive whatever there's all my connections on the front there this is actually another one you can read that expansion bay it says on there and that's just my DVD drive. That's why everything looks so crammed in here, just because that expansion bay there. But as we move on now to the video card, all this is a PCI Express. So all you're gonna need to do, really, is if, if you just kind of give it a pull. It's hard to do with the camera here. And just give me a give me a second here. There, you see, uh, on click like that. And down here there's a little clip, so you're just going to want to turn it. Turn it, just wiggle it till you get it out. It's not that hard at all. Don't be scared of breaking it or anything. Because it's pretty likely that you won't break it when it's coming out. You see that little clip? It heads on there. That clips on to a hook in there. So you probably will have a big, or an open, a more open case than me, so it'll be actually easier for you to do that. Um, right, this thing right here, that's, I guess, I'm guessing that's the power connector for this. It's just connected to the motherboard. Um, I can pretty much guarantee that you won't have this connector. You'll either have no connector at all, or, or the one that I've showed you, wherever it went here. That one of those that plug right into the video card. So, there, now look at that, it's out. It's a, uh... 80 NVIDIA um, 8500 GT um, what's the um, brand or whatever is ASUS ASUS whatever you want to call it there you see that it's out now and your video cards in case you're wondering it supplies your supplies the video to the monitor through a DVI port what's that called um, an HDMI port or an S video some older cards may have this this connector on it. I know it's not very good lighting, but that's called a VGA connector, and that's for older monitors. Which actually I connect this with, or I run my computer with. I actually just put a um a little converter from a DVI to VGA. Um, actually, let me go find that for you. Something like this right here. So I plug that in, and I just plug my my VGA cord from my TV right here, 
in there, so I get VJ quality, but it's a nice, it's a nice um TV there. So basically, that's that's all you have to do to remove the card. It's out now, and now to put it back in, pretty much the same concept. I would, if you have a power connector, I'd actually plug the power connector in first before you put it in. Now to put it in, I might have to put the camera down. I'm gonna try something here. I don't know if it's gonna work very well. It's not gonna work at all, guys. I'm just gonna put it down and in install this. And it's the exact same concept as putting it in. It's actually so much more easier. I'll first plug in the power connector and then I'll pick up the camera again. Just hold on, guys. You can take a nice view of the aquarium there. So I'm just plugging the connector in right now. Since it's so small, it does take a longer than one of those um, six pin connectors. Alright, I've done that. So now the car is just sitting loose here. I'm just going to want to plug it in, get it lined up with the slots, and then all I have to do is just you hear that there? That's the click meaning it's snapped into place. And all you have to do is screw the screw back on. I'm not going to do that because that requires two hands and I don't want to lose the screw down in the motherboard down there. That's a real mess to get out. Um, that's pretty much it guys. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments. Uh, this is the same concept for pretty much any video card. This is a PCI Express slot. So if you have an AGP, um, you're actually going to have to stick your finger down there and unhook it from what I've experienced instead of just pulling it out like I did there or if you have a PCI sorry about that guys my camera memory is full there I gotta get a new card but back to what I was saying um, if you have a PCI slot which most computers will either have an AGP or PCI Express but some will actually have just this and you, actually, you can actually put a card in there you won't get very top of the line card if you put it in there but you can you can definitely put one in there but all I have to do now to hook this back up is just plug that thing or plug the um, connector for my uh, monitor back into there and she'll be up and going after I plug all the connectors into the power back in here and all that into there but anyways I'm not gonna get into that hopefully hopefully you guys liked the video if you didn't, leave a comment. If you did, if you'd like to see more of these how-tos for my computer, because I do know quite a bit about computers. Um, I have changed. I've made a bunch of computers, etc., etc. Not going to keep you much longer. Thank you guys so much for watching. Send this to your friends. If they if they need to know how to put a card in, send this to your family. Just, I want to get as many views on this as possible. I, I know I'm not getting too many views on my videos, but I still do enjoy making them for you for the people that do like seeing them but if you have friends on YouTube send send my channel to them or send this video to them just so they can see see that but anyway guys um, comment rate subscribe if you'd like to if you're new here but if you're not then comment and definitely rate give me a thumbs up um, if you want you can give me a thumbs down but that won't make that won't put a smile on my face. A thumbs up will definitely put a smile on my face. Thank you guys for watching and have a great day.